Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to another bicycle vlog. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I missed last week's bicycle vlog because it was raining. So I just kind of skipped it. Um, uh, yeah, so um, today I want to talk about a few things. First, I wanted to update you guys on my life. I just got a fresh haircut. But um, I wanted to tell you guys about this guy who cuts my hair. Um, if you don't know, haircuts and everything else is really expensive in Japan. So when I first got here, I noticed like a normal barbershop or salon, they, they charge about 40 to 50 bucks per haircut. That is like a normal place. Um, you can go to like the cheaper ones where they kind of just, you're just like in and out. And those goes for like $15. The one, the where, the place I went to was about fifteen dollars, about sixteen dollars, fifteen, sixteen dollars. Um, but uh, the thing is, like, not anybody can cut my hair because I have such a funny shaped head that um, if you don't know the shape of my head, that you're gonna cut it really terribly. And um, even this guy too. It's not terrible, but it's not great. But I'll take it for the price because I don't want to pay $40 for a haircut. And um, this guy is always so angry. I think first, because I don't speak Japanese, that really bothers him. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you don't speak Japanese in Japan, sometimes people will get mad at you. Because people kind of expect you to learn... Um, learn Japanese and I think they, they're just used to already like foreigners speaking Japanese so um, that's one thing you have to prepare for oh yeah by the way um, I'm probably not gonna get into the real topic until I don't know actually when um, but um, if you're watching you can leave a comment and leave a timestamp of where the actual topic begins but I just wanted to just talk to you guys for a second and um, yeah so this guy's really really angry and then I, I feel like you get that in Japan a lot of men there's a lot of angry men here they're just they're just so angry most of the times the people that don't let me film inside stores or inside places they're usually angry men it's like it's like they're almost like frustrated in their life and then they're just like projecting their angriness towards um, Towards the world it's kind of like um just like grumpy old men <laughs> um but yeah this guy's so angry he's very passive aggressive but the thing is he won't look you straight in the eye he doesn't make eye contact with you so i think it's really weird as well but this is the only guy who can cut my hair and i don't want to pay more anywhere else anyway so that's it um as far as my life goes right now a quick update on my life i hope it doesn't get too noisy uh, I'm currently still unemployed. I'm still looking for a job. The problem is, well, I, I have enough time so I can kind of be picky and choosy of what kind of job I want. So, so right now, I'm kind of just looking at the best options. Um, I just went to an interview a couple of days ago and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put all this together in one long video. I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be this long, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put my, my whole experiences in one long video. I don't know how that's gonna go. So I've been kind of I've been kind of um, video recording, video recording all my all my um, job experiences and interviews so um yeah so i just took a yeah so i went to the it's it wasn't like an interview it was more like a recruitment process and it was like three hours long and i had to take a test and i thought i i thought i failed but they called me for another interview um and i think it's one of those tests that you you don't really there's no wrong and that's what he said there's no wrong answer so i'm guessing the test kind of just shows you what kind of person you are maybe I thought it did terrible, but um, so they want to interview, but 
I don't really want to work there actually. Um, just like some of the stuff is not great. Like the hours aren't great. Um, there's just, there's not a lot of good stuff about this job. But um, the pay is not, uh, the pay isn't also great either, but it's, uh, it's manageable, I guess. Um, so I'm just kind of looking for um, a job right now and just kind of taking my time. I am currently on unemployment through the government um, in Japan. Basically, you, it, wherever you work, you kind of pay into a system. And, um, and if you get, if, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal, but if you, if you lose that job, depending on how you lose a job, um, they, will, they will give you back that money you were paying for. So it's kind of fair and unfair because if you pay into that system, you're not gonna get that money back unless you lose your job. So it's kind of like a, it's like you're kind of getting your own money back. And it also pays for other people's unemployment, if that makes any sense. So if you live in Japan, you're working somewhere, you're, you're pretty much, and you work for a big company. I think it's for all companies, but let me just check if I'm recording. Yeah, so um, yeah, if you work for a company in Japan, you're probably paying into some sort of unemployment. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, like an unemployment system. And then you can get that money back. So my unemployment's not that much. It depends on how much you make and I'm about to I'm, it's about to run out in a month or two so um, yeah so that's that and uh, yeah I'm just kind of taking my time I do have a lot of experience so I feel like that really puts me in the forefront because I feel like a lot of companies have been calling me and, and asking me but I kind of some of them I've just kind of turned them down because I don't want to work there um, so as far as, um, as far as the virus goes, um, I'm kind of tired of talking about it, I'm kind of seeing it, I'm tired of like seeing it on the news, but I guess I should update you guys on, um, on that. Where am I going? Um, yeah, you guys probably already know they're, uh, they're having the Olympics. And um, a lot of people aren't too happy about it. I don't know what the percent. I wonder if it's a small percentage or um, or a large percentage. But I, I keep hearing people are complaining. I see I see a lot of foreigners on Instagram and stuff. Um, not on Instagram, but a lot of people ha don't want to get the Olympics. But uh, I'm sure you've watched my other video about. I think they should just have it. If 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 they don't, I forgot the money that they're losing. It was like so something ridiculous. I think if they don't have it, it's like. 17 billion some odd billions of dollars it was up in the ah, i should have remembered it was like ah, it was a lot of billions of dollars so um if they don't um if they don't have this olympics they're i mean the japan's already in a recession so um it's not going to be great if uh they don't have this olympics plus a lot of people have been a lot of people have been working really hard like their whole life to just go to the Olympics and this is the only chance I mean if they miss this one then um, that's it because I mean if you're like young and you miss it in next the next four years you might not qualify for the next Olympics so um, right now they're not gonna have any spectators and right now they're doing a um, fourth lockdown in Tokyo so um, Basically, they don't want people outside while the Olympics is happening. They're just saying, we're going to have the Olympics. Everyone, everybody stay inside. And I think, I think in general, people, I don't know what the general feeling is for people, but I'm sure people are tired of it. But I feel like people will listen to that because I think, I think we've been, we've been so, We've been going so long with this uh, lockdown that people are just, just used to this kind of lifestyle. So um, they're going to have this lockdown six weeks, six weeks m more. Well, it's going to be, it'll be still going on even after, even after the Olympics. And, oh, and it went down like that. Um, yeah, so it'll be like a week, a even a week after with the Olympics end. So Tokyo's going to be under a lockdown. Um, there's 
about only 20% of the elderly fully vaccinated. Um, very low numbers that are that are getting vaccinated. And I was saying like the other in the other videos, you know, they need both defense and offense. The defense part is the lockdown. The offense part is vaccines, but it's not happening. So that's a huge problem. Um, yeah, so um, that's what's kind of going on right now. Uh, they had they had the AstraZeneca vaccine for everybody. They've had more vaccines than people, but they've kind of just given them all away just because they're. I think they're worried about public backlash, you know, and because um, they there was a lot of um, problems with AstraZeneca, some rare cases, blood clots. So people just kind of. Um, the government just didn't want to take that risk and having anybody complain to the government because um, like I said in the other video there's just high expectations all around in Japan you go to a restaurant there's high expectations everything is high expectations and when you don't meet those requirements people get angry so there's a very high expectations on government right now and if somebody gets hurt or dies you know it's gonna be a lot of um, gonna be a lot of problems for them so they pretty much just gave all the AstraZeneca vaccines away I don't know if they gave all of them away but they they pretty much gave them to Taiwan and some Southeastern Asian countries so um, and right now they don't they don't have um, <laughs> they don't have enough um, they, they ran out of vaccines basically they ran out of the Pfizer vaccine and um, they are pretty much they they have canceled all the vaccines right now in um most of japan well, actually all of japan because you know even if they get the first shot they don't have enough for the second shot so they just don't give them just don't give the first shot either so there's a halt on the vaccines right now no one is getting vaccines that's another problem so it's not looking so great right now. On top of that, they've also wasted a lot of vaccines as well. They've, they've like mismanaged them, like left them out in, in the warm weather. And uh, it's not looking great, basically. Um, I'm hoping like sometime in the future, there's just gonna be a whole load of vaccines coming in here, you know, in like two or three months, but um, yeah it's not looking right it's not looking great um look this way all right i kind of know where i am all right and then so um oh these are the apartments i've i was mentioning this in another video that when i um when i moved to my second apartment i've only lived in two places um this was one of the places that I went to and it was it wasn't that great not this place it's it's in front of the, these apartments these are nice actually but the ones in front I'll show you guys maybe I'll take a picture of this cool car there's a guy behind it I'm gonna take a quick picture That's nice. All right, I think it's that guy's car. Um, it's a pretty cool car, though. It had like some anime stuff on it. Uh oh, people are starting to come here and park. All right. I kind of lost train of thought. Yeah, um, these apartments are, I forgot what the wording is. It's kind of like, let's go over there for really quick. Yeah, these apartments up here So, um, actually, maybe these are the same. They look nice on the outside. 
they're like they're like owned by the government I forget there's a name for it they're owned by the government but um, I forgot what it what it was I don't know this was such so long ago maybe like five years ago but the government owns them and uh, oh, I almost fell the government owns them but uh, but um, I think you get it for cheaper, something like that. I didn't like it only because it was really old. It's like 20 years old. And um, I don't know what it is in Japan. Like maybe because of the earthquakes and typhoons, the, you don't get a lot of window space. Man, this house is so nice. Look at this house. Whoa. You can kind of see inside. It's pretty cool. It's in a triangle shape. Um, but yeah, like this, they, they, it didn't have a lot of window space. I mean, they did have a nice, it was just old. Yeah, basically, I didn't like old apartments. I wanted something new. I think mine was, the first apartment I went to was brand new. And um, the one right now, I think it was built in 2018. So it's it's fairly new, um, but yeah. So, um, so that's what's happening with the vaccines. Um, I just thought maybe you might want to be updated on that. And uh, travel, um, like I said before, I think they're trying to do like a bubble travel, but I think they're focusing more on the Olympics right now. So we don't know. Um, as far as myself too, um, I've, I've been, I'm dying to travel. I need to like get out of here. Um, this, this, this channel was originally supposed to be like, not only Japan, but like my life traveling in other places as well. Um, probably not like that much, probably like one to two places a year, which I can probably make up a lot of videos during those times. But um, you know, this happened, which I think is okay because now I can kind of um, build the subscribers and then then when I travel I'll have enough people to watch me because I don't want to go out there and have nobody watch me so um, right now we we just booked our tickets to Fukuoka um, it's a prefecture in the south in Kyushu and right now Kyushu is not doing well because they have like weather like terrible weather right now and they're they're having mudslides and people are dying I don't know if you if you've um, seen that in the news Wow, I love this little neighborhood. It's nice and quiet. But look at the mountain drop in the back. I think I, this is like real close to my house, I think. Yeah, so... Uh, man, it is so humid right now. It's been also raining um, like every day for two weeks now, so... I haven't had a chance to go out and make any videos and vlog, so that's another reason why I didn't do it last week. It was just pouring and raining for two weeks now. So hopefully it doesn't rain this week. Look at these houses. Very, very Spanish. Very Spanish villa-like. But I bet you inside is just, sim just like Japanese style. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, so yeah, we, we got a trip to uh, Fukuoka, um, but uh, I mean, who knows? They might lock down again. Just want to check out this tiny little motorcycle. Oh, this is so cute. I think these are bikes are for sale with this old bike and you got a monkey all right so all right we're just gonna get into it um, oh yeah um, uh, 
so we're gonna go to Fukuoka I'm not sure what's gonna happen hopefully you know I can make a lot of good videos out there um, we're gonna be out there for a week um, there might possibly be a lockdown there as well because there's gonna be a there's going to be um, a lockdown in in Tokyo so I'm assuming they might have a lockdown as well everywhere else like Fukuoka, Kyoto, Osaka. That's what I'm guessing. Um, so I don't. Uh, I always do these kind of things. I don't really. I don't really pay attention. Where should I go? I should go across the streets. That's right, a red light. All right, I don't care. All right, we're gonna go across the street. Yeah, so um, we're gonna go to Fukuoka. Um, I want to take a train quick because in Fukuoka there are other places that you can go to. Um, there, there's like a special JR train that you can take, and uh, you can go around Kyushu in uh, different little cities. So I think um, I think if it's okay, we'll be doing that. Um, so please stay tuned for that video we're gonna go in like a month when there's a big holiday so it's a bit noise out here um, wait for the screen lights I want to start talking about the topic um, I, I think maybe it's just noisy for me um, what I want to talk about is should you still come to Japan should you come or should you not come to Japan all right it's a green light all right I don't know if you saw on the camera but there was there was there was a yeah I think you maybe see it in the camera but there was a a white woman with her baby and I've, I've seen that family before around here um, because if you especially around my neighborhood because you don't see a lot of foreigners around my neighborhood so it's kind of if you see a foreigner it's you kind of seen them many times actually so that baby that that baby was just looking at me because I was kind of talking to myself and um, I think they're European maybe perhaps but um, yeah so I want to talk about if you still should or shouldn't come to Japan and I wanted to kind of talk about that so um, yeah I think if you're planning to come to Japan, it all depends on um, what your situation is. If you're planning to be an English teacher, and I can, I can really um, take a picture of this place. What is this place? Some TVs running. Look at this. It's weird. It's like an old little building with cigarette vending machine. All right, let's get on the street. All right, so if you're, if you're planning to teach English here, um, which I have a lot of experience with, um, depends on what you're trying to do. I think, oh, oh God, I just got hit in, the, hit in the throat. Let me just check this camera again. Oh my gosh, just got whiplash right on the neck and the jugular. Oh, I've been talking for 40 minutes. All right, sorry guys if you're trying to look for the uh, the main topic, um, but um, yeah. So if you're trying to teach English and uh, you're like on a gap year or something, or you're just trying to do it temporarily, I think great, just do it. Um, apply online and try to get 
I try to get the uh, job and um, it's not easy I, I don't think because not anymore because so many people want to come here so there is a lot of competition um, and then if you don't have experience that's also an issue as well so um, if you're planning to teach English try it um, you got to be really proactive and really just apply to everywhere and just getting get your foot wet that's not it not your foot wet you got to get your foot in the door basically so basically you got to apply to anything you can to teach English now are there gonna be nice jobs no probably not they're not gonna be great um, and I don't want I don't want to sound like a complainer all the time because I feel like I'm always complaining but um, if you're planning to teach English here, it's not gonna be an amazing job. It's, it, I'm, if you're if you're here temporarily, the first 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 or second year is gonna be great. You know, it's everything's new. You're living in Japan. You're having a great time. It's gonna be good. But anything longer than that, as an English teacher, you know, you really have to reevaluate a lot of things. Um, and and that's when you have to go look for like the better teaching jobs. There are good teaching jobs, but you have to go find them. And another thing is they're not going to hire anybody. You really got to have that experience. So I'm not saying like, oh, I have such, ex I have a lot of experience, but I do. And so that's why I'm, I'm trying to look for like the really good, good jobs out there. And there are not that many of them out there. Um, problem is you got to find one that's good paying and you, you got to find a one that's not going to be overworking you and and most of the times they're not high paying they're low paying and they're overworked so that's that's pretty much an issue um teaching in english from my experiences um and there's just so much i've talked about this all the time there's so much uh, competition here there's so many foreigners that want to come to japan that uh you know it's like it's it's just getting harder and harder to find jobs here to teach english and um yeah i don't i don't know how it is for people that just just kind of um begin to teach english in japan or like begin to find the jobs to teach in in, in japan but i have a feeling that it's not easy now, if you want to go to like places like Korea or China or even Vietnam, I feel like it's a lot easier to find English teaching jobs. But um, in Japan, I think A, there's not that many schools. Um, they don't really uh, focus on teaching English here. A lot of the kids, um, they don't, most of them don't even speak English. Um, it's like something you learn like in high school, something that you kind of pick up in high school, kind of like, you know, French and Spanish back home I think you know it's not in China everyone's learning English um, in China it's kind of like everyone's doing it because they, they, they value the they value learning English and um, it's, they just have so many schools in China and they have so many people so many kids so it's kind of you know important to learn English but here it's not so much so um, that's another thing there's not that many schools um, and um, yeah, so if you're going to teach English, uh, if you're doing it for temporarily, I think it's good. You know, you come here for the first time, you've never been living it. If you've never lived in a different country, it's, it's, it's good. It's exciting, um, especially if you live in like, um, if you live in like a big city like Tokyo or Osaka. So that's it. Um, I feel like the best person to come to Japan well either if you're getting a high paying job you know if you're if you're like a highly skilled worker and you're and you and your company sends you to Japan I guess you're not even watching these videos you're probably so busy with work and on top of that you you're you're already set you know your company is gonna send you out you're gonna be making high amount of money if you make a lot of money and you live in Japan it's even better I think because it's things are affordable here more than like western countries i mean things are expensive here 
but compared to Western countries, you can live pretty good with making a lot of money. Where in, whereas Western countries, you have to make a lot of money to do well. So um, it is still expensive here, but at the same time, if you make a lot of money, it's a pretty good place to be living. Um, so you got the high paying jobs. And then also if you're a student, I feel like that's like the best person, best candidate to um, live in Japan. If you're a student, maybe you're a university student, that's pretty good. If you're learning at a, if, if you want to come to a, um, like a language school where you're going to be learning Japanese for the two, for first, um, first or second year, perfect. Um, but again, I guess like at, even after that, what are you going to do with those skills? And that's going to be the problem, right? If you learn Japanese, those years are going to be fun, the first two years. But are you going to find a job at a Japanese company? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm just lazy, but I feel like if you're going to work at a Japanese company, A, you're not going to be paid as much. And B, you're going to be working a lot. And um, that's just the truth. That's just the honest truth. So, yeah, if you come here, you go to the Japanese school, you learn Japanese, you, you become um, somewhat fluent in Japanese. Maybe you're N4, N3, N2. Um, yeah you you do that i mean after like what is your like e your plan afterwards because if you work for a company they're not going to pay you well and also if you're a girl they also don't pay you well as, as well too i feel like there is you know they, they always, they're saying that um take a picture of this car i really like i really like these suzuki suzuki jimmies i want to get one of these it's like they don't come with these big wheels though, but it's like kind of like a Jeep and um, a K car at the same time because you don't have to pay so much for the um, for the taxes. Yeah, so if you're learning, um, let me see how much time I have left. Three minutes, yeah. Um, so. So yeah, if you're if if you're if if you're going to a school and you become fluent in Japanese, and you then you're looking for a job where you can utilize your Japanese, you're probably going to be working a lot of hours, and um, you won't even have time to enjoy Japan once it gets to that level. Um, then, if you're a college student. And you go to school here i think life is pretty good but then again it's the same thing where you finish school um and then you you're probably going to work here and um you're probably not going to get paid much and um you know i hate to say it but being a foreigner in japan you're never going to be mm, you're never going to be treated as um look at this is it a house or a liquor shop it's a liquor vending machine but it's also a house like it's like they must make money from this anyways uh sorry about that yeah so if you if you come here for college and you, you go to school you might not i just made a big circle you might not get a good paying job yeah so basically so basically in the end if you come to Japan and you're thinking long term it's 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 uh, it's very difficult to make um, it's difficult to make or it's difficult to get have an um, um, a good paying job basically I feel like that's where all of my videos end up in just comes down to that feel like whatever you do here 
you're, you're not gonna make a lot of money but at the same time you can live you can live with the money you have if that makes any sense um, now if you get married or find a significant other that makes the same as you um, you can live a decent life I think you can um, you know you can live in a decent apartment the government tries to help you as far as um, like having kids like I think you get paid about about hundred fifty dollars per kid and that's kind of like a new thing recently in the, in the past couple years so if you have like three kids you can get up to like 400 bucks a month and recently they just made all kindergartens free so you can go to kindergarten for free you can go to public school for free so i mean technically you can come here and have a family and it'll be okay um but you're gonna have to be like you know you're not gonna be like rich i don't know so um but yeah as i was saying before like if you're a foreigner um you're you're never gonna be treated the same as equally as Japanese people and um, for me it's I think it's different because I'm Asian and I kind of blend in well with everybody everyone thinks oh shut up <laughs> this crow is loud um, yeah I blend in well with everybody and um, you know I don't really feel any kind of harassment or any kind of racism but I feel like for other foreigners they're, they feel some sort of way to, from Japanese people. Um, and I wanted to also mention that like, with the pay and how foreigners are treated here, like, you know, it's not terrible, but comparably to like China, and I know China is not, they don't have the best record of anything actually, but I feel that Foreigners in China are treated a lot better than here. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, you know, like I hear a lot of people always saying like, we are a guest in this country, you know, so we should act accordingly. You know, we, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be doing things that, you know, that are, I don't know how to explain it. I, um, we shouldn't be doing things that we shouldn't be doing. That's it. But um, I hear a lot of times that since we are... Where should I go? I'm going to go this way. Just riding my bike in the middle of the street. Um, you know, since we're just guests in this country, that we should act like guests. You know, be respectful of everything. And that's, that's definitely true. We should. Um, but um, I feel like in... In China, they really treat foreigners like they're their guests. If, if you know what I mean. Maybe you don't because you've never been there. But they really respect foreigners, I feel. And that's, that's how I feel when I lived there. I felt really mm, uh, special from the people. Um, not that I should have special treatment, but I just felt like there was some sort of like um, respect, like almost like a lot of times too. I would talk to like older Chinese people, like, like what are you doing here if you're from America? <laughs> like they, because in their mind they think you know America is the place where everybody wants to go to, and you know when you see an American person in China, people get kind of surprised. So they feel kind of surprised that you know what am I doing there and. Um, they feel kind of honored that people are foreigners would come to their country and live a life there learn the language well not me i didn't i, I learned a little bit but you know they, they they really respect respect that and they really treat you really well 
And as far as like the English teaching jobs goes, yes, there are a lot. Look at this little exhaust. What the heck is this? Is this like a little silencer? A little purple thing? Um, because it's a unicycle. Um, yeah, there are a lot of jobs out there, but not only that there's a lot of jobs out there, they pay you really well out there. You know? Because, I mean, these schools make a lot of money. But in Japan, it's not like they want to rip off foreigners, but this is my theory. My theory is um, Japanese people themselves, when they work at these companies, they're working long hours. They're working hard. They don't get paid a lot. And so this Mini Cooper, it's a nice house. So what I do, I take pictures of cars and neighborhoods. It's a nice house. It, they even have like stairs and a, a rail. Looks like a hospital clinic. Anyways, um, they got two garages. Okay, sorry. All right, so um, yeah, so even yeah, so they think. Oh my God, look at this house. It's huge. It has like a little fence stuff. Oh, look at this cat. And look at this house. Meow. All right, fine. Whoa, this place looks abandoned. I'm trying to take a picture of this crazy car. It's like, it has like dust. All right. All right, I'm out of here. I think this area has a lot of big houses. But, um, oh, there's a cat again. Hey, it's me. Don't go. Looking at man, these houses are insane. This one, do people live here? Look at this one. All right, sorry guys, I kind of got distracted. These houses are really nice. Whoa, this house is really big. I've never seen houses this like they're usually like thin and tall, but I've never seen one that's. Or either they're either wide and low or thin and tall. This one is both wide and tall. All right. Might be an hour, it might be. It's a good exercise. Um, but yeah, I think because like they think that um, like CEOs and companies, because um, Japanese people are working these long hours and they're not getting paid much that they think that why is it fair for um why is it fair for for foreigners to make more money and work less and that's not like how i think that's just how um that's just how it goes but i mean it's not like the all the time even even if they if they do pay less um and you have to work as much um there are still times where japanese people whoa look at this house japanese people still get treated different differently to foreigners and i've had i've experienced that in in japan where it's like they just kind of know that um oh my gosh there's a back part to this it's, oh my gosh look at this house Wow, look at these houses, they're so big. Look at this. All right, so uh, there's a lot of old houses here as well. All right, so yeah, so they're even, even they try to make everything fair for people, um, even if you're foreign or Japanese, they still treat Japanese a little bit more harsh because it's part of their culture, if that makes any sense. Like there are some things that we don't have to do that Japanese people have to do. It's just because of, it's because it's just ingrained in their culture. So even if they try to make everything, the plane feel like fair for everybody, it's still not fair for Japanese people. Comparatively to Ch China, where they definitely treat the foreigners way different than the Chinese people, the Chinese workers. And not only the salary, the salary was a lot, um, I'm gonna make this yellow. I'm gonna do it. Oh, it's red. 
All right, so um, what, yeah, whereas the salary was a lot, salary was a lot higher comparably to um, the Chinese counterpart, the co Chinese um, co-workers. So it's, it was already unfair to begin with. It's already unfair for the, um, the amount of money, but uh, I mean, it makes sense, you know? It makes sense to me. Because if they don't, if they pay the foreigners the, amount, the same as amount as the Chinese people, then nobody's gonna want to come to China. And in the first place, people already don't want to come to China. Um, I don't know if I, if I ever talked about um, a woman that used to live here in Japan. She worked at my first company and she was a really nice lady. She's from San Francisco and she went to Dubai to teach uh, English and she got paid pretty well but now she's in China in a smaller city I mean it's still a big city but she gets paid like almost double the amount I'm getting paid now plus they pay for apartments so she can save so much money there and uh, man lately I've been thinking if I should because I've been looking for a job maybe I should just go back to China but I don't know I don't think it's gonna be good um, Oh. So yeah, so they do treat treat foreigners a lot better there. Um, and it's not like everybody treats you unfairly. I think it's more like just the feeling. Like if you're a foreigner in Japan, it's it's like a feeling like you're you're never gonna be equal parts to Japanese people. I feel people will be polite to you. People will be nice to you. But you never know what their real intentions are. You don't know if it's if it's true or not. But for I feel like for the most part, their intentions are good and they are just nice people. But you know, I think I'm always reading the Japanese news and stuff like that, and there's always this like foreigner versus kind of Japanese type of articles. No, that's not what it is. This is I'm, I'm explaining it wrong, but it just it always feels like there's always some sort of issue with a foreigner or Japanese and not a person, but uh, like uh, what's an example? There's always like this thing. I've, I'm always following like these um, these uh, Japanese news sites, and I always read the comments from the people, and usually they're like, "Oh, I need to take a break," and they're usually like. Um, comments from people that are living here like foreigners that are living here and there's always like this thing where if something goes wrong they always blame the foreigner like oh it must be the foreigner's fault you know it's because of the foreigner this and that um there's always issues about uh issues about maybe like drugs and stuff like that and then they always like blame the foreigners like oh it's the foreigner's fault for this and this stuff so I just always have this feeling where that, I don't know, I just always have this inner feeling that foreigners don't get treated the same equally as Japanese people. And uh, I don't know, it's, I think it's always going to be like that. It's never going to change. Oh yeah, and also like, um, I'm, sh I'm not sure if you know, but there's, there's this whole thing with kids who are half because now that there's so many foreigners that are living in Japan um, there's a lot of kids who are half 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 Japanese half foreigner but um, they get bullied at uh, at school and I was watching this thing on Vice where a politician who doesn't represent all of Japan? He just represents a small part of Japan. He was very far right, very Trump-like um, type of person. Like he says, Japan first, just like how Trump says, America first. And he was saying that people who are half shouldn't get the same rights as Japanese people. I mean, let that sink in. This was like a far right guy and he's saying that if you're half, half Japanese, half 
um, whatever other foreigner um, and you've pretty much been born and raised in Japan all your life you shouldn't get equal 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 treatment equal um, treatment as Japanese people because you're half and that's what he was pushing um, in, in the Vice video in the news the Vice News they, the guy wasn't getting much a attention you know it was just like one kind of crazy guy but there is a group a lot of um, I, I don't know if it's a large group I, I can't say because I don't really know for sure but there is there are people that um, feel this way so um, which is not that great so if can you imagine if they don't want to treat if they don't want to treat people who are half the same as Japanese people they're never going to treat foreigners as um, as the same equal equal equally to um, Japanese people and um, you know like I always say I hope it doesn't sound like I'm complaining um, no country is perfect but uh, you know I just want to give you give you just the things that I observe and what I hear and I, I want to just tell you guys in some way or somehow um, I hope I hope it helps you because you know in the end I want to make videos or well, some of these videos that help people and that's why I wanted to make this video because there might be a lot of people deciding whether or not they should come to Japan this or next year if they can and so I just want you guys to be prepared of what um, what the realities are but at the same time um, you, you might you might not see it I'm more of um, I'm more of a person who kind of um, I'm very observant or I'm always like listening to stuff and watching stuff and um, thinking a lot so um, you might you might come to Japan and maybe never have experienced anything that I'm talking about so um, which probably is good but if not um, you know you can be prepared of what what is the reality here and um, I think it's good if you're gonna come here to have some sort of um, plan of what you're going to do yeah it's good to have a plan also if you're planning to come here you should learn just the basic hiragana and katakana before you come here um, I didn't I think I, I think I'm different from a lot of people because I kind of just came here because I wanted to and I, I knew that Japan is a nice country I feel like most people come here because they love anime I feel like mostly because of anime and there's nothing wrong with liking anime so they already have like this I, I want to say obsession with Japan I think I mean I'm pretty obsessed I, I don't know if I'm obsessed but but you know people who a lot of people that come here are like already are in the anime world they know Japanese from watching the animes maybe they learn Japanese and then they come here so everything seems all fine and dandy for them so for me, um, I, I don't, I, I, I wasn't in that, that group of people. So I think it's good to learn hiragana and katakana before you come here. Um, yeah, uh, I hope, I, I, I don't want to make a video that sounds like too much of a downer, but I just want people's expectations to be where they should be. You know, I feel like sometimes it's it's gonna be amazing you, you know you come to a new country and you're like you're like um, you know you just think of all the good stuff right when you're like I'm gonna go to Japan it's gonna be amazing and you know what it is it, it is gonna be amazing but you should also be prepared for you know all the bad things as well um, things might not always go your way and that's that's how it's just gonna be Especially if you've never lived in your, if it's your first time, um, if it's your first time living in a new country, so. 
I remember when I first came to. Yeah, so the battery just ran out. I can't believe I was just riding my bike and talking for 20 minutes and it wasn't even recording. Um, so I had to go back and look at the footage. And basically, what I was talking about is, um, yeah, you might not, you might not see what I'm talking about. I mean, I think I'm more observant to things. So maybe you know I'm more aware of some things, or maybe it's just all in my head. But maybe you do come here, and maybe you don't even see any of it, um, and you just kind of, you know, you do your thing, and that's it. But um, yeah, I think I just maybe I'm just kind of I always overthink things and observe a lot and um, maybe, uh, you know, I mean, maybe what I'm saying is true. I don't know. I, it's, it's hard to say because actually, I don't know. I feel like when I talk to foreigners, they all kind of have the same kind of feeling and um, I think uh, I think um, I'm trying to think what I was talking about 20 minutes ago or for 20 minutes when I was riding my bicycle but yeah um, yeah that really sucks because I've been just just riding for 20 minutes um, but but yeah I think and oh yeah I think I was comparing my um, my um, my life in here in China and um, I think here is definitely more manageable to live. I think China is just a different, just a different place. It's a different planet. There's so many people there. And when there's so many people, it's hard to, um, I don't know, it's hard to just like live life because, you know, especially cause like China has rapidly grew, grew in the last 20 years. And we're talking like socially, and financially that um you know they have a long way to go as as far as like learning goes and and i think yeah it's just it was just a really hard place to live for me i think for other people it's 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 a lot easier but for me i feel japan is more closer to america or western country even more so than korea i've been to korea and i think you know even though Japan is very traditional um, and they really like traditions and it's like they have to do it in a certain way and and that's that's just like that's how it goes and it's just been like that for a long time they still have a lot of Western influences here which makes me feel more at home makes me more comfortable um, yeah they do have like the McDonald's in China yeah they do have like all these um, franchises American franchises in 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 china but in japan there's something about the way they just built this place that really resembles america for me i, I always feel like japan is an american it's a asian version of america just that's just my personal opinion i'm sure nobody has ever looked at it in that way but for me it just feels that way it feels more comfortable and when you live in china it's like a complete there's like no place in the world like China and I feel like that would be the same place if you're like lived in India or some other place I've never been to India but I, I have that feeling it's gonna be like that same kind of feeling where it's like it's such a different planet um, but um, yeah I don't know why I'm talking about that uh, I know I was I know why I, I, I know there was a reason why I was talking in that way um, no it, it, I know there was a reason why I was talking about this topic but I kind of lost myself in that uh, in that recording because it just stopped. But um, I think a lot of people that come here, like foreigners, they stay for a long time. So um, did I answer the question? Should you should you come in two thousand twenty one? Yeah, probably. If if you live if 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 the place you live in is not satisfying to you um if if you're not enjoying where you live you should leave i think i think that's kind of like my whole would you say mantra like i don't think one person is meant to be in a certain place 
it should fit your personality and when i lived in america i just what well, just my city in particular uh, i just didn't feel like that fit fitted me my personality it didn't fit um like what i wanted to do in life and in that i felt not happy about my my situation about myself and um when i lived in china um i i think i felt the same way as well and you know what and i'm not saying japan is the place where it is i may move somewhere else maybe japan's not the place for me but i think if if you're not feeling great in in the place you are, you're at you should try something new you know because life is short and you never know unless you try it and that's always been my thing like if you know you never know until you try even even if you try it and and you and you're going to hate it at least you tried it and hate it and then you can go back thinking um you can go back thinking that at least you tried it and it didn't work out and you can always go back or go somewhere else so um i think things will start opening up soon not with the vaccine rate going right now but maybe soon as in next year and you know eventually they're going to let people in here whether it's teaching english i think they're going to let this oh my gosh i just oh i just ran into um a family of nets um yeah they're going to start opening this place up i think they're going to let the students in first but um i think you should try it cuz i think japan has a lot to offer Japan is just one of those places where I I always say this like it's one of those places where you're going to be addicted to and I know people who travel here like friends who travel here once you come to Japan you always want to come back and for me it's it's always it's I think it's Japan and Thailand are like this Thailand I don't know what it is I'm always addicted to Thailand I always have to go back but You know the people that watch these videos um a lot of times they 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 I think they watch my videos because there was a time and place where they've come and visited the place where I've went as well and so I think you guys like that and it kind of brings back a lot of good memories a lot of good nostalgia and you know and that's how Japan is it's like one of those places where you get so addicted to you want to keep coming back and back and you sometimes you just want to live here because you just want to get it out of your system, you know? And some people just just I I um uh, I've I've met people on the comments where people kind of stay here and um live for like 10 years and then they go back home. You know, they get it they get it out of their system. So, if you're thinking about coming and you want to come here, I think yes, you guys should still come 2020 21 and 2022. Should you still come here? Yes. Um And and if your if your experience suck, don't blame me, okay? I I gave you all the warnings, okay? So if you come here and your and your and your situation sucks, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. I gave you I I gave you all the 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 real the real things that that will happen and can happen. So um I hope you enjoyed this video. If you watched all the way through, thank you so much. Um thank you for all the supporters. You guys are really great. I know I know I see you guys. You know, you don't even if you don't comment, I know you guys are still there. Um you know, I'm I'm trying to work hard with these videos and it's not easy and uh Yeah, I'm just trying my best. So um thank you for um people backing me up and supporting me. It really uh motivates me to keep going. Um I feel like at this point I can't stop. Um I enjoy making these videos and I think people and the guys up on this building, I don't know if you can see. Dang, if he falls down that's not good. Old man. I think that's his house. Check it out. But um 
yeah anyways um thank you for thank you for supporting me and um you know um I've, i feel like i've made a lot of friends so far um and um yeah thank you for watching again and um i'll see you guys next time see you later goodbye